If you ask someone out of all the towers in Bloons and Bows 2 what the worst tower is, I think a lot of people would say the wizard. But today I'm going to show you why you need to put some respect on the wizard's name. Because the wizard was recently buffed a lot in the last update where first Ninja Kiwi changed the base cost of the wizard from $300 to $250, next they changed the Archmage increasing the main attack pierce by 2 from 4 to 6, and lastly guys the most impactful buff in my opinion is they buffed the wizard lord phoenix making the wizard lord phoenix's main projectile damage 55 instead of 40 which is a pretty large buff overall. With this ninja key, we said Wizard deserves some attention after being out of the limelight for a while now. Note we have also indirectly buffed Wizard with the Azili change. And this Azili change in question, guys, is the level 2 Azili now giving the Wizards plus 2 pierce at level 2. So basically all the time, the Azili is going to give Wizards plus 2 pierce, which is a huge buff as well. So today, guys, we will be using the Wizard Azili combination in some whole of Masters matches and showcasing the Wizard late game. So let's hop right into it, guys. This is going to be awesome. And also, guys, if you are a Wizard enjoyer as well, please hit the like button on the video. It helps me out a lot and it takes like two seconds to do. So I appreciate it a lot. But now let's hop right into the video. All right, guys, our first match of today's video is against uh, I don't even know what that name is, but they're going Striker Jones, and I'm going Azili here, and we are on the map Sam and Ladder today with the brand new strategy, which I don't think I've ever used on the channel before, of Dartling, Wizard, and Farm with Azili, of course, because we're showcasing Azili in today's video. So we're going to start with our Dartling here, which I think I'll place like right around here is going to be the Dartling spot. I was thinking of which, wiz I wanted to go Wizard Farm as like two of my towers here, and I was thinking of what would be the third best tower, and I was debating between like Tack and Bomb. But then I realized Tack and Bomb um, aren't really good starting towers here, and Wizard would, would, wouldn't really be a good starting tower for this map either. I know Darling can kind of work as a starting tower, so I'm like, okay, why not go Darling here? Why not bring Darling? Let's see how this goes. So we're going to get our Darling and our Zeely down round one. Opponents going with a Dart start, so they're bringing Dart Monkey, which is actually pretty interesting here. All right, I gotta, you got to respect the Dart plays, bro. Dart has been seeing a lot more use lately, and I'm here for it because um, it has gotten a lot of buffs recently. In the last update, I think they buffed like the Super Monkey Fan Club. And Plasma Monkey Fan Club damage, which is pretty impactful. So, yeah, let's get it. Pretty soon here, though, I want to get my first um, farm down. would be pretty nice. If I can get a farm down. So, we'll try doing that. We'll send some space yellows. All right, farm has been bought. Perfect. Okay, there's going to be blues. Actually, going for this farm might have been a bad decision. I now realize. Let's go for a wizard. The wizard's got extra pierce from the Zeely, which is actually going to be helpful. Fireball on this. Okay, we're fine. Uh, this is not working out as I would want it to. Do I go for a wall of fire here? Hmm. Let's go for a wall of fire. Maybe I shouldn't have even went for a wizard, to be honest, in hindsight. I probably should have just upgraded my dartling, huh? I pray my Dartling probably would have been the smarter decision. It's fine though. We're alive. That's all that matters. Intense magic. No, I'm dying here. I'm not alive. I'm dying. This is not good. I need a boost. I need a boost, bro. I need a boost. This is not good. This The wall of fire is so bad on this map, bro. You want your wall of fire typically hitting in like an intersection. But in this spot, it's just awful. Okay. I, um... I might have been throwing this first game a little bit, guys. I'll be honest. This this first match is not really going um going to plan here. Let's upgrade my Darling here, so I don't die. Cause that's always good. At least we're alive, you know. If we're alive, we still have a chance, guys, and that's really what matters. We've still got a shot. Okay, there's gonna be some yellow balloons. Yellow balloons don't do anything, thankfully. We're good now against everything. And the bright side is we actually still are tied in farms, believe it or not, somehow after. Everything has kind of gone down here. So I'll take it. One downside though is I am pretty weak on lives. So that means that I will need to... I won't be able to use very many Azili totems late game. Which is something I wanted to use. Go for faster barrel spin here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I won't even have my farm or my bloom bot place. Let's place those. They're balloon boosting at me. The balloon boost does nothing. Perfect. We're good. We're good. We're good against these uh, region stuff they're sending me. I think. Boost. We're fine.
Defend, defend, defend. Fireball spam, fireball spam. Easy defense, not even close, ladies and gentlemen. We still won. We still won. Okay, maybe fireball spam wasn't the play. It probably would better go go for like a dartling or something there, but um, <laughs> we still won, and that's all that matters. Okay, maybe maybe dartling wizard farm's not the move, but I'll go I'll go another wizard strategy for you guys with the Zeely. Let's get it. I'll catch you guys in the next game. All right, our next match of today's video, guys, is against How to Meowza on the map of um, Oasis with the strategy Wizard Bomb and Farm. I feel like it's going to be a lot better than our previous game. I actually know kind of how to play the strategy on this map, so we're going to start with our wizard right here. Opponents one Druid here, and they brought um they brought Fedora as well. So Fate Weaver Adora Druid is certainly interesting here. I'm going to start with my wizard as I said previously, and then we'll be getting our um, Azili down round one as well, and this will be a Wall of Fire is going to be the plan early on. Let's get our Azili down. Perfect. Could I have waited another eco boost to get my Zeely down? I actually could have. Okay, that's good to know. I could have waited another eco boost and then ecoed a little bit more to begin with. That's totally fine though. That's totally fine. Just keep maximizing my eco, and we'll start saving up for that wall of fire as I said earlier. Cost a thousand dollars, a thousand big ones, a thousand cojones for it. Now ideally, I keep a decently healthy life count so I can use a lot of totems throughout the game. Would be nice. So let's see. Hopefully, I don't leak too much here. Get wall of fire up. It actually went for an early farm, which I probably should have sent them some space greens on the previous round to make that not happen, huh? Yeah, I definitely let them greed too much there. It's all right though; they got their Druid of Wrath up, nicely done. Not Druid of Wrath, Heart of Vengeance is what they got. They got their Heart of Vengeance up. Some some pinks, and then we'll get our first farm down here pretty soon. The nice part about the Wolf Fire is that it should be able to defend everything until round eight for me. Round eight is when the space purples come out, so. Obviously, space purples will be um, something I'll need to get more defense for because the wolf fire does not hit purple balloons. But until then, I should be chilling for the most part. Okay, they're leaking quite a bit there. That's good for me. Let's upgrade this to increase production. They are going to need the lightning on their side for sure. Here pretty soon. I should be good against white balloons. I might need to buy intense magic. I'm not entirely sure on that. We'll just try it at the moment and see if we need intense magic or not. Right now, it looks like we're fine, though. A white balloon got through. Azili cleans it up, it looks like. Yep, Azili cleans that up. Nicely done, Azili. Uh, we're gonna keep farming. Yeah, the wall fire is an extremely cheap option to defend the first seven rounds, pretty much, for you. Very, very cheap. Works pretty... It only works well on this map, though. On um, Salmon Ladder, did not work out very well, because it's not an intersection, right? You need a map with an intersection for this uh, to be able to work out for you. So that's why it wasn't working on Salmon Ladder as well, even with like a Dartling to support it. Alright, we'll just keep sending them Space Deco. Um, let's actually buy Intense Magic here because we are starting to leak a little bit more than I would have liked. So maybe Intense Magic helps me out enough. I don't exactly know what Intense Magic does for it, but I'm just going to hope. Oh, so I need to get my Farmer and my Bloon Butt down here. Secret Farmer, Secret Bloon Butt spot. Uh, I guess I'll just place the Bomb. I placed my Zeely kind of where I'd want to place my Bomb Shooter is the thing. So that's not very good for us. I sent some space purples. Let's use the Z level 3 ability. Alright, we're good. We got my cluster bomb up now. This should be enough to defend stuff for the most part for us. They have sniper as they have sniper, so it's druid sniper farm, which is interesting. Gotta respect the hustle with this one, I I've gotta say. Gotta respect the hustle with Druid Sniper Farm. Bigger bombs on our side. Go for another farm on our end. We're good. I'm not sure if I'll go for a Necromancer here or not. I might just go for a Heavy Bombs with our Wizard. Would be the plan. Because the Wolf Fire should be able to do decent work. Unless they like mix in a ton of purples with their Rush. I feel like this is going to be a decent setup. The Bomb Shooter and the Wizard combo. No, unless they send me like a big Rush. I don't need to buy Shimmer. Send them a Camel Lead. No way. No way, bro. I didn't have heavy bombs. I thought I had heavy bombs. I just sold so much, dude. I literally thought I had heavy bombs that entire time. And I didn't. What am I doing? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, bro, that was so bad. That was so bad. 
The whole reason those rainbows got through is because I didn't have heavy bombs like that. And I had to use a boost. I had to use level 3 Abyssal ability. I lost all my lives. Oh my goodness, chat. We'll boost this. That's so frustrating. We'll just buy Necromancer here. That's actually so frustrating. Everything just spiraled downwards after that one moment for us. Now I'm down to one boost. The bright, On the bright side, I can still use Azizi Totems late in the game because Azizi Totems at a certain point only cost one life to use. So that is one thing I've got going for me, but I don't know, man. Pretty upsetting spaghetti after that one. We're not... I guess I could try... I could probably send them a rush eventually and get through uh, their setup. Maybe I'll send them like a fortified BFB on round 22. Could be a decent rush. Around 20. Because I think they have to spend a lot of money on their Fedora to upgrade to Chains of Fate against around 20 BFB. So that's what I'll do. I'll send them around 20 BFB. Or fortified BFB. Not a, not a normal BFB. Fortified. But I don't want to use another boost for sure. And I can't use Totem as well, which sucks, dude. Not being able to use Totem sucks. Also, they're slowing down my Azili leveling with their um, Adora too, which I just realized. So... My, they keep using their Aze um, Fedora level 7, which slows down my Azili level link significantly. Which is unfortunate. Alright, Plantation has been bought. My eco's pretty good on the bright side. We got 2200 eco, which isn't bad at all. So, I mean, I guess... That's one thing you got. I gotta take into consideration. My eco's looking dece. It's looking dece. I send them a fortified BFB as Fizzle. And we'll send white balloons behind it, just for the maximized eco pressure. They're sending me a fortified BFB. Okay, I think we go for a dragon breath here. Go for a molar get first, and then we go for a um phoenix maybe. Please defend. Okay, that defends. That defends. I don't know if that's the right best way to defend that. To be honest, guys, I'm not super experienced with the wizard, but. It works. Are they going to Chains of Fate this? They do. Round 22 Chains of Fate. I feel like that's expensive to use, right? Round 22? That's got to be expensive to use. They're struggling the AI. Okay, they got an Elite Sniper on their side. Nicely done. I'm going to stop my Eco at 3k. 3k Eco is a pretty good amount. And our plan will be to get up a round... Hmm. Do I get round 24? Probably round 25, Monkey Wall Street. I don't think I'll be able to afford round 24. Well, round 25, Monkey Wall Street here. Would be a good amount. Would be a good thing for me to do. So, since I'm getting round 25, it'll be worth for me to upgrade one of these to a central market here. So, we'll do that. Alright. I mean, on the bright side, I still have one boost left, and I've still got totem uses for late game. So, despite the early game mis misplays, I still think I'm in a fine position overall. Definitely could be better, don't get me wrong there, but it's not awful, you know. It's not awful. Moab, let's get up a Mauler. Actually, I don't even need a Mauler, what am I saying? My Zeli has lots of Moab damage. Dude, my Zeli is still not level 10, look at that, because they've been using their um, Adora ability. It's, level, it's round 25 and it's still not level 10. I could buy level 10 though for really cheap if I really came down to it, but yeah. Just an interesting thing, I guess, that should be noted about the Fedora um, slowing of hero, hero leveling. Okay, so these. Let's get that up. We actually were able to keep the central market around, which is nice as well. They got their uh They got their monkey wall ship as well. They have a sniper farm alongside of it, so. They might have more money making than me. I don't know what their eco's like though. So we might actually be pretty even on money. I'm not sure. It could be pretty even Steven as well. They're sending me that. Let's go for an assassin. We'll just, we'll just hex this, I think. Yeah, hexing, that's fine. We'll Phoenix the second one. Alright, we're good. Should be able to get my uh, Banana Central here pretty soon, which will be nice. They're sending me another one, bro. This guy is a BFB Brawler. Holy cow. 
Look at all those BFBs this guy's sending me. Get an impact in the back. Okay, we're good. Oh god, gosh, that got way too close. That got way too close. I forgot about the speed boost. They use the speed boost there with the rush. We're good. Okay. I'm getting scared of the speed boost to DTs, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Speed boost to DTs keep scaring me. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Wait! Oh, that almost killed me. That almost killed me. They keep slowing down my hero level. I don't know what they're sacking, dude. The annoying part about Fate Weaver Adore, which is OP, is when you um sacrifice something to slow down hero leveling, it gives you the sell value of the thing you sacrifice. So you can just endlessly do it without much of an economical um impact to yourself. So that's why they keep doing it. And my Z is getting slowed by leveling a, hu a huge amount. Well, if you sacrifice something with like normal Adora, you lose the entire uh, tower's value. And if they lost the entire tower's value, for example, I would not be... Um, they probably wouldn't be using it near as much, right? So, that is something that's a little bit frustrating for me. Alright. Okay, we forced their super storm and stuff. That's good. Dude, my Zeely has just has it just stopped leveling? It's been at level 11 for the longest. And it costs $47,000 to be level 12. What is this, bro? What is this? Why does it cost so much? They just keep spamming it at me, dude. It's so broken. The hero leveling thing is so broken because they, they don't even like lose that much money doing it. It cost me $47,000? I guess I'll upgrade it, but like, dang, that sucks. That really sucks. That's definitely super broken. Because you can just keep spamming it. $100,000! Wait, why is it $100,000? What? There's n This has got to be a glitch, bro. He did not sacrifice a n near $100,000 of stuff. That's got to be some sort of glitch. And I can't even use my totem against this, is the annoying part. Because it's $93,000 to use a totem. That's absurd. I don't have any boosts either. I'm just going to lose because of this Azili leveling thing. I think I've just lost because of the Fedora leveling being absolutely broken. $115,000 to upgrade it. Like, what is that, bro? I can't use my totem. So all of my wizards are like super weak. I don't have any boosts as well, which obviously sucks, but... If I was able to boost and totem here or actually upgrade my Zeely, this is definitely defendable. That is so frustrating, bro. $195,000! It's $195,000. That's gotta be some sort of glitch, dude. There's no way that's supposed to be $195,000 to upgrade. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm actually tilted after that game, bro. That's not a that's that's not fair, bro. I catch you guys in the third and final match. All right, our last match of today's video, guys. We're going bomb wizard farm once again. We're on the map banana depot, which is a pretty solid map for this loadout, I'd say. Um, we are gonna start. Do I start with my bomb shooter? Or start with a, I think I'll start with the wizard. I'll start with the wizard, so I can get my Zeely down round one pretty easily. Opponent starting with attack shooter, so it's probably attack mortar farm for my opponent here. I'm pretty upset after the last game, dude. That just shows how overpowered the Fate Weaver's level 7 ability is. Because $200,000 to level up my Azili is ridiculous, dude. I honestly would have been better for me to play it the late game, just not leveling up my Azili at all. I wanted the one-life totems, but I wasn't able to get it. I just had to pour way too much money into the Azili. That was kind of ridiculous. That was kind of ridiculous. Okay. Start saving up for my wall fire here. We'll just boost this. They balloon boost. I'm fine boosting. And then we'll get the wall fire pretty soon. I don't want to leak down too low. Because this opponent might do the same thing where they just spam the um, ability. So I want to make sure I can use totems. Even if they don't cost one life. If that makes sense. 
All right, I got the wolf fire up now. We're good, we're good. And then hopefully I can fit a bomb shooter right here between them. That's gonna be the game plan for later. Yeah, I can, okay. I'll probably put the bomb on last when I get the bomb down later. Maybe it would have been better for me to start with a bomb instead of starting with a wizard, huh? Because then I could have just started with my cluster. Now that I think about it, that might have been the smarter decision. Starting with a cluster is more expensive than a wall fire, but then my round eight's a lot cheaper because all I need is a cluster on round eight instead of a cluster and a wall fire. So, yeah, that probably would have been the better decision. Okay, the wall fire seems like it's doing its job though, thankfully. It's doing its job, ladies and gentlemen. All right, greater production farm. That's good. Space black balloons at him. I'm not gonna be able to go for a plantation for a while here, so I might as well just start building up my bomb shooter, huh? Let's also get my farm and my balloon bot down here. Yeah, get our bomb shooter down right about here on last. Might as well send in some yell balloons. Actually, why am I sending yells? Yells don't do anything. Especially get Fate Weaver door with Attack Shooter. Attack Shooter is so strong on this map as well. Yellow balloons don't do anything, Ryan. They're gonna send me purples, probably. Okay, my level three ability just didn't let my wall fireplace for some reason. We're fine, though we got cluster bomb up. Now I can start saving up for a, a plantation on my end after I got the cluster bomb up. Now I'm good to save up. So we'll do that. I might as well send pink balloon, white balloon eco. Come on. Okay, I got the plantation up, nice. We're good. One more eco boost, I afford my shimmer. I'm just gonna pre-buy the shimmer this time so I don't have the same issue that I had last time. Oh, I don't have my heavy bombs up, oh no. Let's hope they don't mix in purple balloons. If they mix in purple balloons, I'll need to buy heavy bombs for sure. They are mixing in purple balloons. Okay, we're good. We should use level 3 as the ability there. Let's cross path my farm. Alright, that actually was not a, a, as bad of an early game as I thought initially we'd have. We'll boost this. Okay, I'm down to one boost. That actually kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Down to one boost is not good for us, but we're alive. We'll have Totem here for round 15. In case they re-rush me, I'll just use Totem. Yeah, we've got Totem now available, which is nice. And we'll just keep building up our eco here. All right. I could get a Necromancer on this, but the problem is this wizard spot's not very good for a Necromancer. So I don't know if it's worth for me to buy Necromancer this game. Or maybe I just buy more bomb shooters against rushes. Would be a smarter decision. Buying more bombs. Remove this obstacle. Because I feel like they'll definitely rush me. Necromancer is a good upgrade though, so it's only 2800 as well. It's pretty cheap. I'm not sure. I'm in a, I'm in a slight dilemma here. If they don't rush me, I don't need to build up defense, obviously. So that's the that's the nice part. If they send me like a fortified Moab, I think all I need to out I think if they send me a fortified Moab, what I'll do is I'm just get a balloon impact in the back. Because my ZD will have level 8 on round 18, which will pop the fortified Moab pretty well. Let's use Totem. Okay, we're fine. Not even close. Not even close. We're good. All right. We're alive. Let's go for an impact here. We're fine with the impact. We can sell the molar now. All right, we're good. We actually defended those decently well. I still have my boost left for late game as well, which is what I wanted. So we've still got a boost available. I'll take it. I'll take that for sure. Let's keep this on last, though. Keep my cluster on last. It's going to be important. They keep sacrificing stuff to slow my um, hero leveling. That's annoying. They're just going to spam the sacrifices like my previous opponent did, for sure. They're just going to spam it. Whenever they need to sell something, I think they would probably just sacrifice it. Valuable bananas. Alright, they got a cherry battery on their side. Nicely done. We're the same plan with around 25 Monkey Wall Street, I think. It's going to be harder to get on this map, obviously, because this map's a more difficult map, and it's getting anti-stalled a little bit, so... That'll definitely impact my Monkey Wall Street chances, but we'll try my best. It might get, like, later than round 25, which is fine. Now, we're stopping my Eco 2500. 
We're farming. What level is my Z? Level 9? Okay. Let's get Central Market on our side. Nice. We have a lot cheaper DDT defense than my opponent, which is one thing I've got going for me. Their DDT defense is quite expensive. Well, they can they can use um, Chains of Fate to defend like one DDT. But then after that, they will have to spend a lot of money to defend DDTs. They sacri See, they keep sacrificing farms, bro. They're just spamming it. I'm just not going to upgrade my Z late game. I'm not going to upgrade my Z late game. It's just a thing. I'm just not... I'm going to use... I have two totem uses, basically. I have two totem uses. They're just spamming it. So it's going to... Yeah, it costs $8,000 to upgrade level 10. That's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous when you think about it. I think I'll do round 26 Monkey Wall Street will be my plan. Round 26 on it should not be a bad decision. I'm going to use a balloon boost at them. Okay, that was dumb. I was trying to fake a balloon boost to like make them be scared and upgrade stuff, but it's all good. It didn't really work out like I was planning. Okay, I should be able to get my Monkey Wall Street here pretty easily. Alright, I'm scared of them sending me a DDT rush that's like balloon boosted with their... Yeah, they're going to do that, aren't they? Actually, maybe not. Let's upgrade my farm. We're actually out farming them, which is something that needs to be considered. We're actually out farming them somehow. Yeah, we're fine. Now I'm not out farming them anymore, but they spent me DTs. Mm. I might have been able to defend those future DTs with a Zeely Hex and Totem. Now I think about it, instead of selling everything for a balloon bomb blitz, that probably would have been a smarter decision. Okay, they're sending me ceramics. I don't think ceramics do anything here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, opponent sent me some bad rushes, which is good for me. Some unwise rushes. Wait, I'm glitched? Okay, we're good. Let's use Totem. It's Balloon Boost. Pop it. Wait, I probably should go for a... Probably go for a... Moab Eliminator is probably smarter. If we Once we pop this guy down, we go for a... Um, a... Balloon Crush on our side. Pop, pop, pop. And then we send them another BD. Pop it, pop it, pop it. I don't think the other BD was a smart decision in hindsight. We won! They surrendered! Let's go! Let's go! We won with the wizard Azili combination, bro! I'll take it! Oh, man. Even with them spamming the abilities against me, still got a win, dude. I honestly think the bomb wizard farm strategy is not even a bad loadout. Um, but yeah. Let's get it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though, and let me know your thoughts on the new Azili wizard combination. Do you think it's finally good? Ram like out, though. Peace out, lads. Thank you guys so much for watching.